Hi everybody, this is Seth with uh, Blue Collar Gaming, and uh, we've got a special unboxing here for you today. Um, <clears throat> Wizards of the Coast has recently started a new uh, new line of cards called the Secret Lair. I'm sure a lot of y'all have heard of those uh, by now from the big drop that they had at the end of 2019. Well, they've started uh, 2020 off with a bang uh, with the new Secret Lair Year of the Rat. So I have right here my box for Secret Lair Year of the Rat, and we are going to break this bad boy open. I've also pulled out my rat deck, uh, which I had put together sometime last year uh, to be able to compare these cards. So let's see what we got, if I can get into this thing. There we go. A little nifey nifey cut cut. And break this thing open. And here we go. Here is the little box here. Y'all don't need to see the big box with my packing slip in it. So here we go. And has the nice Secret Lair Drop Series Year of the Rat. Nice and sealed up. So let's pull this tab. Toss this into the void off camera. And open this up all right so we can see when you open this box up it's nice and wrapped in some uh, tissue paper so we're just going to <clears throat> pop that out and toss that to the side pull this paper off and get this Open. Now, one of the things that I like about the, this series is these are some pretty nice boxes if you haven't looked at them. Um, I am a big commander player, so I like anything that I can put a commander deck in. And this looks like it would hold a nice com commander deck, maybe double-sleeved, and any tokens if you are a big token player. It's one of my favorite things to play. Nice little uh, Rise the Redeem, make millions upon millions of tokens. All right, so we just pop this up here to open it. And let's see what we got. Ooh, nice and red on the inside. Uh, don't remember last year if there were any special colors um, from the last series. And we can see how they are nice and nestled inside. So there's the new Ink Eyes Servant of Oni. And we can see there, but she's still wrapped up in the plastic. So let's very carefully, we're going to pull these out so we can take a look at them. All right. So here they are. Secret Lair, and I'm just going to close this and push this back over here so we can focus on the cards. Maybe we'll put it here so we can remember that it is the year of the rat. Okay, first up we have Ink Eyes, Servant of Ani. That was our reveal card when we opened up the box. Nice little legendary rat ninja, ninjutsu, three and two black. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may put target creature card from that player's graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. And then she also has a one and a black to regenerate ink eyes. And you can see there's a nice little foil here working. Um, I love this art on her. I like the black and white. It looks like she is ninja vanishing or ninja appearing in. And you know, that's what you can do with the ninjutsu uh, mechanic is you attack with another creature that you've got on the battlefield. If that goes unblocked, you can pay the five mana to be able to basically flash ink eyes in, smack your opponent for five, and then steal a creature from that opponent. So that's a nice little, uh, nice little 5-4 there. Um, now, unfortunately, I don't have an original card of her. So uh, I do have pulled up here on my phone. Uh, let's
let's see, here's what her original artwork looks like. And, and let's get a little, if we can, side-by-side -side comparison. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Ink Eyes Servant of Ani. And if I am saying that wrong, I apologize. Pronunciations of funky names have never been my strong suit. All right. And then here is the man himself, Maronauer. Um, fantastic rat commander. Um, and I love the art on this. Just, uh, you know, big and welcoming. You know, all of your rats have fear. Uh, tap him, sack a rat, create X11 black rat creature tokens where X is the number of rats that you control. Again, nice little foily foil on the card. He's a two, three, four, five black or five manas. Um, really like his ability, especially if you pair him with Thornbite Staff, um, where if a creature dies, you uh, untap the creature that Thormite Staff is attached to, so you can make tons of rats on your turn. Um, now, I do just so happen, this is, uh, Marinawar is my commander for my rat deck, so we can compare them. Now, this is a little more warm and fuzzy, uh, comparatively, than the original now, I do have to apologize. I could only find uh, Marinawar in a foreign language card. Um, so, but this is the same card, I promise. Um, but you can see the art comparisons, definitely different style. So, very fun. All right, let's put him there. And let's go to Pack Rat. Uh, again, another fun cutesy looking uh, rat card here, a two drop. Pack, pack rats power and toughness are each equal to the number of rats you control. So the more rats you have on board, the bigger he is. You're gonna pay two and a black to discard a card and create a token that's a copy of pack rat. That is just terrifying, especially once you get you know, you may have 20 or 30 rats on the field and you're going to discard a card to make another pack rat that's going to be a 30-30. That's a big boy right there, especially once you start swinging or if you have a way to give him tramples. Um, again, I don't have an original copy, but I do have on my phone here. Let's see if we can get there in for comparison. Um, you can see the original artwork on the right for the pack rat. A little dark to see, but you can see that rat in the lower right corner that is looking very menacing and terrifying. Um, so, yeah, so th these, are, these are pretty great so far. Um, got a nice foil on there again. Love the fruit. Pack Rat is beckoning his friends to come join. Um, now, I did read somewhere that uh, the artist, uh, Fiona here, um, that she, the art on Pack Rat, I believe, was inspired by her pet rats. Uh, I think I remember reading that right. Um, so, I did see a picture of them, and again, they were black with the little white faces, so they were very cute. Um, so, it was nice to see the, uh, the art on this. All right, we'll put that right here. All right, and then last, I believe we have five copies here of Rat Colony. So I'm just gonna put four of those down, put those right here. And let's take a look at this last one, this Rat Colony. Um, rat Colony came out in Dominaria. Um, very similar to Relentless Rats. I actually like Rat Colony better than Relentless Rats because uh, Rat Colony, it, trouble, it triggers off of every rat that you control. Whereas I believe, and I'll double check this while, while we're looking at the, the Rat Colony card, um, I believe Relentless Rats only triggers off of other cards named Relentless Rats. So let me get a little quick verification on there. 
Um, yes, so Relentless Rats only triggers off of cards named Relentless Rats, whereas Rat Colony triggers off of any rat. Um, so it comes in as a 2-1, and uh, a deck uh, can have any number of rat of cards named Rat Colony. And <clears throat> Rat Colony gets plus one, plus zero off of each other rat that you control. Um, so this is a fantastic, you know, token rat card, um, especially when you start playing, uh, when you have Marinar here and you start making those rat tokens, you sack. So if you have multiple rat colonies out, you tap and sack to create a rat token, or you tap and sack a rat colony to make rat tokens, then you can just sack those rat tokens. But these work fantastic together. I think my rat colony deck, I run maybe about 30 of the rat colonies. And let's take a look real quick. Here is the original Dominaria art, again, comparing side by side, have that nice Chinese New Year. Um, again, nice little foil on there. Um, but uh, you can see the two artworks side by side. So those are fantastic. Overall, I'm very pleased with the way that this uh, art looks. Um, you know what's kind of funny is you, you look at all these, you've got you know the cutesy looking rat colony cards, you know, you've got Pack Rat, and then you've got Marinawar, and they're all looking very, you know, despite what they can do in the uh, in the black manas in Magic, despite what they do, um, they're all looking very warm and fuzzy, and then you have Ink Eyes, who looks like she's going to come in and just straight up murder somebody, um, which, you know, maybe that is when, uh, when you tap Marinawar to sack a rat, maybe... He's sending ink eyes after somebody <laughs> to be able to uh, to take them out to make more rats. <clears throat> so those are all of the rat cards in the box, Secret Lair, Year of the Rat. Now, we're not going to end this here because there is a big burning question that I have had since I placed my order for Secret Lair, Year of the Rat. If you did Secret Lair last year, you'll remember that there was a Secret Lair, L-A-Y-E-R, to the Secret Lair, L-A-I-R. So there was an extra little bonus to the Secret Lair boxes, and that was every single box came with a bonus Planeswalker. Um, and then depending on which set you got was which uh, Planeswalker it was. Um, the one that seemed to be very, uh, you know, regardless of of the what you purchased, if you got the uh, Oh My God Kitties uh, box, it looked like you did get the Ajani Planeswalker from War of the Spark. Um, and all of those Planeswalkers were in the uh, stained glass motif from War of the Spark. It was some special art. We were hoping to be able to see it somewhere, and it looks like it was keyed in to the Secret Lair series. So the question is, in this box here, the Year of the Rat, is there going to be a hidden Planeswalker card? Well, let's find out. All right, let's put these cards here over here. We will put them in my deck later. That will be some fun deck tech. What are y'all's favorite rat cards? Um, do you have a rat deck? What does that look like? Leave us a, a like and a comment. Uh, let us know what you like to run in your rat decks. Would you like to see a rat deck tech video? That I would be happy to do. Let me know if, uh, if that's something that you would like to see. So, all right, let's open this back up. And we can see here, looks like there's nothing now. The thing was with the secret lair last time, right up under here, there was a little glue dot holding a plastic sleeved planeswalker in place. So let's pull this out. Oh, and look, there it is right there. 
hidden card secret lair to the secret lair. So what are we hoping to be able to see? Um, you know, rats, that is mono black. Uh, maybe we see a nice Liliana. That would be nice, especially from, uh, from War of the Spark. Whenever a creature dies, draw a card. Um, maybe we see a Mixilus. Uh, maybe we see the new mono black uh, Planeswalker that was in the um, Brandon Sanderson short uh, short novella that they did for War of the Spark. Um, what was his name? Daveril, I believe. So let's see. Let me reach in here and I'm going to try not to look so that we all get surprised at the same time. Okay, I have not seen this card. So here it is. Nice and plastic wrapped. I can still feel the little glue dot there, so we'll have to pop that off. So let's see what our card was on the count of three. One, two, three. All right, so we've got a Rao Storm Conduit. Uh, two colorless, a blue, and a red. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, Rao Storm Conduit deals one damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Plus two to scry one. That's not terrible. And minus two when you cast your next instant or, or sorcery spell this turn. Copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. Now that could be powerful. I do run a nice um, Is It Locust God Commander deck um, that this could uh, be very helpful in. Um, so that is not a bad pull right there. So we can see it does have that nice uh, stained glass look to it. Uh, let's do a real quick comparison while, let me see if I can get this glue dot off. Those drove me crazy. Let's see if we can find us what this really looks like. Um, I'm gonna have to get that glue dot off later. So, Raul, autocorrect is getting me today. Raul Storm Conduit. Okay, here we go. War of the Spark. All right, so side-by-side -side comparison again. Pulling up the old phone to be able to see. I do like that uh, that artwork there. That looks, looks pretty good in the stained glass motif. Very nice. All right. So that is uh, that's not a bad pull right there. Uh, Rao Storm Conduit. Got the nice eight rat cards that I can put into my uh, Marinawar commander deck. Again, would y'all like to see a deck tech video on command, on uh, Marinawar, what that looks like? Uh, give us a comment and we can make that happen if you would like to see it. Or um, let us know what your favorite rat cards are. Um, just like and comment and we will uh, respond. So again, we've got our nice five rat colony decks here. Uh, Pack Rat, Marinar, and you guys. All right, so I, I certainly appreciate y'all listening in on this video and watching us do the un unbox here. Be sure to like and subscribe to Blue Collar Gaming for all the upcoming uh, Magic releases, uh, Commander games, and other board games that we will be featuring in future videos. Again, this was Seth with Blue Collar. Thanks for listening in. Y'all have a great one.